Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. Tricks, traps, blunders and the pirts defense disasters. Let's start. e4, d6, d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, g6. The pirts defense. Bishop to c4, c6, queen to e2, e5, d takes on e5, d takes on e5, knight to f3 intending to cast the king's side. Maybe black to move. Knight from b to d7 was played. If bishop to g7 as planned, what happens then? Then knight takes on e5. That is why player with the black piece is played. Knight from b to d7. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? White play the move and black resigned and the move is knight to g5 in this position. Player with the black pieces can play many different moves, but none of them would make him happy. So he resigned. Next game e4, d6, d4. Knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4. How would you defend the pawn? Perhaps some players would play knight to c3, or maybe f3, or maybe bishop to d3. Play with the white pieces, play bishop to c4. Oh no, he forgot about his pawn on e4. Black happily captured the pawn. White to move. How will you continue now? Play with the white pieces, sacrifice the bishop on f7. Check. King takes bishop, queen to h5, check. King to e6, let's take it back. Well, player with the black pieces didn't like to play g6. Because then queen to d5, check. And white wins the knight. But this is probably not that bad for black. Back to our game. King to e6, saving the knight. But the king is somewhat exposed now, isn't he? White to move, how would you continue now? Play with the white pieces played d5. King to f6. Knight to f3. The knight to c5. The knight escaped. Is black winning? White to move. What would you do? White played a move and black resigned. And the move is... Bishop to g5, check. Black resigned in view of this continuation. King to f5. Queen to f7, check. King to e4. The black king is extremely well placed for the end game, but not for the middle game. Because after knight from b to d2, check. The king has nowhere to go. And we call it checkmate. Next game. e4, d6, d4, g6, knight to c3, bishop to g7, knight to f3, attacking white center, bishop to c4, a6, intending b5. Should white play a4? Or d takes on c5? What would you do? Play with the white pieces. Sacrifice the bishop on f7. Kaboom. This is check. King takes bishop. What is the follow-up? What would you do? Play with the white pieces. Play knight to g5. Check. King to f6. White to move. What would you do? Play with the white pieces. Play knight to d5. And play with the black pieces. Refuse to play. But it's normal. Because it's checkmate, isn't it? Next game. e4, d6, d4, g6, knight to f3, bishop to g7, bishop to c4, knight to f6, attacking the pawn. Should white play knight to c3? Play with the white pieces, castle, the king's side. Knight from b to d7. What's wrong with taking the pawn? Well, it's not losing. But 
Black gets behind in the development, somewhat behind. Back to our game. Smelling a trap. Play with the black pieces, play knight from b to d7. But now the pawn, which was not captured, became a trouble. e5 was played. d takes on e5, d takes on e5. Knight to g4. Three pieces are attacking the pawn. Only one defending. Can white save the pawn? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? White played the move when black resigned and the move is bishop to f7 check. Player with the black pieces resigned in view of this continuation. King takes bishop. Knight to g5 check. King to e8. Knight to e6. Winning the black queen. Could black do better than that? Let's take it back. In this position of the check, can the black king go to g8? What happens then? Then check. And after e6, another check. And after king to f8, queen to f7 checkmate. Next game. e4, d6, knight to f3, knight to d7, knight to c3, g6, bishop to c4, bishop to g7, d4, black to move. The three most played moves in this position are e6, knight to b6, and c6. Player with the black pieces played a5, white to move. Should white cast the king's side? Or maybe there is a better move. What would you do? Play with the white pieces. Play knight to g5. Black to move. After thinking long and hard, play with the black pieces. Play knight to h6. Defending the pawn on f7 that way. Let's take it back. e6 was considered. And play with the black pieces. Didn't like this move because of... Bishop takes on e6, and after pawn takes bishop, knight takes on e6. Attacking the queen and the bishop after queen to e7, saving the queen, defending the bishop, then knight takes on c7 check. Total disaster. Back to our game. That is why player with the black pieces played knight to h6, intending to castle kingside next. White to move. Can white prevent castling? Or what would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Play with the white pieces, sacrifice the bishop on f7. Check. Knight takes bishop. White played the move when black resigned and the move is knight to e6. Threatening to capture the bishop. And there is also another small threat, and that is knight takes queen. What do you think? of these pits defense miniatures. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.